So I kind of played for Jonathan Nelson. Hello everybody, it's O'Neal Gerald again, and it's another Vita Day, and I wanted to talk to you about something that kind of happened to me on Friday. It's kind of weird because I was planning to vlog that day, and it kind of turned into something kind of weird. So I'm at the Sounds of Worship concert. I have a friend named uh, Toyin. She's the leader of a ministry called the Love Movement 416. There she is. And I was heavily involved with, in it uh, a few years ago, and I just went to go and kind of support uh, my friend. Friends. How long has it been now? It's been like what, six years? Six? Something it's, like yeah. that. Yeah. And, and, now, and now she must go and be mama. We really have a family thing that goes on uh, whenever we see each other and I just love going to support my friends and it was just a really cool time. I had also talked to her husband Josh and they actually have a vlogging channel. I'm, I'll put the link in the description below but I was talking to uh, her husband Josh. It was just a merchandise table um, that they needed me to uh, guard while the concert was going on. So I was like sure I'll do it. I'm just here manning this uh, merch table with Julia who I also met a few years ago. Like, I even got to see them warm up which was pretty cool. Um, I'm just sitting at the table and everything and the music's going on. I am I got to see Micah Stampley. I got to see my friends singing their songs. I give up, I up, I and I got to see Jonathan Nelson perform, uh, sort of, kind of, because what had happened was I was at my table because I was manning the table, right? I was able to go in and out, whatever, um, just like selling t-shirts and stuff. And then uh, I see my friend Toyin uh, in her blue dress running towards me, um, motioning for me uh, to come. And she's like, keyboardist, 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 come! <laughs> If you don't know, I play the piano, I play the, I play the keyboard. She was like, he's asking for a keyboardist. And I'm like, who? What, where, when, how? <laughs> and um, she's talking about Jonathan Nelson. What happens is sometimes gospel artists, they perform with tracks. And when they perform with the track, it kind of fades out and they want somebody to kind of pick up the chords and just like, you know, continue to play along. And she was asking me to do that. And I didn't realize she was asking me to do that because actually, if I knew that, um, prior, I probably would have found a way to say no, but I felt like it was a weird sign from the heavens that I should that I should do it. I ran, 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 and um, I'm like, okay, where do you want me? And I'm realizing, and I'm getting closer to the backstage, and I'm realizing I'm going on the stage, and then I am sitting in the keyboard um, spot, and Jonathan Nelson is singing. <laughs> He looks at me and he smiles because he has his keyboardist, but I'm smiling back at him because I'm like, I don't know what songs you're going to sing. I don't know if uh, they're going to be hard chords, and I especially didn't want him to ask me to take uh, to take it to church. And when and when, when a keyboardist takes it to church, or when a gospel uh, a gospel artist will take it to church, the, the chords will change. And I wasn't quite confident in that, and I have had a history of not being quite confident in that. And what do you think he asks me? <laughs> what happened was he came over and uh, he asked me, you know, can you change up the chords? Basically, was what he was asking. And I'm just like, no, I don't really know how to do that. And he was just like, yeah, that's fine. We'll we'll rock with it. He flowed. I was able to pick up on the songs that he that that he did. Uh, thankfully, I knew two of them, and the last one was really easy. So long. saved me <laughs> it was extremely awkward it was kind of terrifying I came out alive shout out to Marlon uh, he was able to get some pictures for me and some video as well I was walking in a lot of fear when it came to playing for a gospel artist even when I posted on Instagram I posted some pic I posted a picture of the moment and I told everybody I was just like yo this is this was one of my biggest fears actually 
backing a gospel artist and not being able to play the chords that they want. God so had it that I just got on the stage and play and was able to play for him. I feel like whenever you are put face to face with your fear, that it's God's way of telling you that you it's time for you to overcome. There are so many times where I've had um, so many things that scare me and I've had to come face to face with them and jump over them, whether it be courses in school or whether it be conducting choirs and things like that. But like, I realized that by getting me of all people to play for him, uh, to play for Jonathan Nelson, uh, it was really a way for me to jump over my fears. It was a really defining moment in me um, like really seeing my own potential in playing keys um, and um, you know being encouraged to grow in my craft. I just didn't see myself being able to play all the licks and you know you know <laughs> um, scattering the keys and things like that you know scattering my fingers over the keys and whatever. I am thankful for the moment although it was terrifying I am thankful for the moment. I realized that I can do it now <laughs> and I don't really have an excuse anymore. I don't have an excuse anymore. I uh, I'm so thankful for this moment. Like it was it was really cool. Like I can now say that I sort of kind of played for Jonathan Nelson. All in all, it was a great evening, and I had an amazing time. But <laughs> man, like I, could, I I my heart is even still kind of races when I think of it. But it was still a thrilling and rushing experience. I wish I enjoyed it more, but it was still a great experience that I do have on camera. So this is uh, pretty awesome. If you really enjoyed this vlog, I really encourage you to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe to this channel because this is the place where we think deeply so that we create art that changes the world. I am vlogging all month and I'm giving I'm giving you guys a video every day uh, for Aveda so uh, I really encourage you to stick around see what I have to offer and you know just uh, go on this journey with me so I'll see you guys later. Uh, bye bye everyone. <laughs>